I wanted to come to a place where I thought there were needs and and I wanted to make sure that I would have a profession that was exportable and bringing value. And this is why I decided to go into medicine. During my med school, I used every elective time to go and work overseas. I went for three months to work in Chad during the war time, and I worked in a dispensary in the southern part of Chad. Uh, after that, I, my second summer, well, I went to Haiti, and during my um, practical clerkship, I went to Kenya in Tumutumu Hospital uh, to work with the Maasai. It's an organization that is working in the most improbable places, in the toughest place of the world, and is always in solidarity to people who are working in adversity. It was like a no man's land, and women were, were being exposed to sexual violence. And I remember back then uh, looking at that and just say, this is awful. I said, we need to respond to those women. And so this is how we developed the comprehensive case management of sexual assault in wartime. And it makes a difference because today it's recognized as something that needs to be addressed in every single, I will say, context. We will not leave patient behind and we will not be silent. It's, it's about believing in oneself, you know, that you can, you can do it. It's not about your gender, it's about believing that you can do it.